to my channel. Today we are going to do a video on those Uno, them drunk Uno games. Everybody been talking about it, even though they've been out for a long time. But once it hits the internet, uh, it's it's sold. So I'm going to take the easy way out. I know I saw a video on YouTube. I can probably link that video below. Um, this lady she did the on um, drunken, the drunk Uno game she did it step by step she shows you how to make those cards step by step by googling finding the things that you need and everything inside create space so she did it step by step i can show you that but me i took the easy way out i basically bought the svg to um which made which um we came with the the letters the uno letters to put on the the shot glasses and the card already made okay yes i took the easy way out Okay, and I got it from MeganCustoms.com. She has it for sale on her site, so you can go ahead and check her out. But let me go ahead and show you. I'll make this video. It's going to be long because I have to do everything. But I'm going to go ahead. I already got the um, images right here under my recently uploaded because I was just playing around with it just to see how it came. So she gives you a lot of files, okay? She gives you these in PNG, SVGs, and different kind of... um different she gives you a lot of these files okay she give you the birthday file she give you want to say graduation or senior she gives you a lot of files for the money that you pay for this okay so go ahead and pick that up from her site it's really um <laughs> much easier to do instead instead if you unless you want to do it um step by step let me show you real quick what i'm talking about go ahead and move this over so, so i can put everything on the same page so this right here comes in a file and this right here is basically what um the video I see on YouTube. She, this lady show you step by step how to make this card, okay? Putting the words in there, shaping the putting the shapes in there, okay? But look, it's already done for me. I don't have to worry about doing it because it's already done because I paid for it. So if you want to spend your money, I forgot how much it costs, but just check her out on um, MeganCustoms.com. Just check her out and see what the price is. But it wasn't that bad for all these files, okay? She gives you a lot of files. So let me go ahead and get these words. These are the ones, the words that you put on your um glasses. Okay. You're gonna size this card the size you need it for your box. I don't know what kind of box you're using, but I'm using the box from Dollar Tree. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna measure the size that I want the um, sticker to be on top of this plastic box, and I'm gonna make sure that it fit the, the shot glasses, and it does perfectly. Okay. Dollar Tree, y'all. I got these from Dollar Tree. I got these mugs, I mean, these shot glasses from Dollar Tree, okay? So I'm about to measure this and see the size I need it to be. The sticker, how big I want the sticker to go on top of this plastic container. And I think I'm going to go with 8 by 7. Or 8 by 6.5, okay? So I'm going to make this. Um, sticker eight by six and a half so that's my sticker gonna be right here okay bring this over and then make sure all this is um flattened so if you when you print something out you want to make sure it's flattened so i'm gonna bring this let me make my screen a little smaller i'm sorry y'all uh... okay there we go okay so what i'm gonna do now is just basically um make sure that this is all flattened this, this we're going to use the sticker paper for this, okay? We're going to use sticker paper. You can use whatever you want. You can use, um, if you want to layer all this, you can use regular vinyl. Well, you probably can't because these glasses are in here. But I'm just going to use my print and cut feature for this, and I'm going to use sticker paper for that. I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. My computer's been acting real slow. I don't know if it's my internet because it's raining. I have no clue. But yeah, Cricket's been acting really slow today. <sighs> okay. So right here I have this 8 um, by 6.5. And then this card, I just want to make sure it fits inside the container, okay? 9 by 6. Okay. And that should work. I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. It's going to take a while for that to flatten because it has a lot of words on here. So I'm going to let that flatten. 
Okay, Cricut is being really slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and do is going to exit this and start it over. And when I get done figuring out why my Cricut is so slow, I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. And Create Space is giving me a really hard time. Basically, um, as you see, I was trying to <laughs> resize this to make it a eight by six for my um for the rules, but you see how many layers this is and Cricut cannot handle this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to print these, these words right here with vinyl on Cricut. But I'm going to take the card and then the sticker that I'm going to use for the, the top of the um box, the container or whatever. I'm going to take that and put it in the silhouette because I've been working and working on this and it's just not it's not uploading because of so many layers on here. Okay, I, like I said, I've been working on this for a long time and it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of this. Um... Close this out. It basically it's, it's it's froze. It's froze, and I can't do anything. And I've been going back and forth with Cricut. I called Cricut, and Cricut said it's just too many layers, basically. So I tried to have this whole video to show you how to do this with Cricut, but I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Cricut out. Or, so I'm sorry about all the the back and forth, but I wanted to get this out because everybody's trying to do this. Um, Uno, drunk Uno, and it's so easy, y'all. If you as long as y'all get those um the card from um the website i'm gonna put down below for you it's easy just do is print them out one on card put the card on card stock paper and then the um the other part on sticker paper so you can stick it on the container see cricket is getting on my nerve okay there it is y'all see i just, just downloaded this new beta point um v5 it's because i guess it's a new desktop or whatever i don't know just getting on my nerves every time i turned on cricket it won't ask me do i want to download them let me go ahead and download and get out the way but now it's just i don't really like it Okay, so I'm going to not even use that anymore. See, it's there, but it's froze. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a new project. It's just too many layers. Too many layers, y'all. Upload. Then I'm going to just go ahead and do the words. And cut those out on vinyl. And you're using, using basically um, 651 vinyl. Permanent vinyl. And I have the colors already. Blue, yellow. My mouse is acting up now. Get my mouse pad. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and do it, make it smaller like this, and then what I need to do is go ahead and ungroup it up here, ungroup, and then get one word right here, bring it over. So I'm just trying to ungroup them. So now they they still group now. Now what I want to do is make them all two points, two by two. Okay, so I take it and go two by two. Okay, enter. That's a good size for my glasses. Okay, 2.2. Okay, so we have all those together. So let's go ahead and just put them up closer. Okay, bring this down. Like I said, I'm going to do everything else on Silhouette. I think I tried to use Silhouette. I think Silhouette is much quick, faster than it can handle more layers on Silhouette than Cricut can. Okay. I just want each one of them to be one layer. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, if I can, I'm going to go ahead and weld it together, okay? So I'm going to click on it and weld it. So it can be one, see, now it's just one cut, okay? Go to the next one and weld this one. Make it one cut. Same thing for all three, all the other ones, the other two. Weld it and then weld it. Okay, and there we have it. So now we have one cut for each one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it. You see, now they have all um, it's on the only sheet of paper. Had the yellow. I'm sorry, y'all. I told you I have my mouse pad green, blue, and red. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my cricket on. I have all my colors and stuff that I'm going to be using. Let me show you that in a second. And the easier way to do this, let me show y'all real quick. Easiest way to do it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make all these black, right? So I'm make this black, even though I'm, make, I'm really going to make it blue. <laughs> but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Black. 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 And then this one black, okay? 
And then what I'm gonna do, take it right here. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, so 12 by 12 mat. And I'm just basically showing y'all how to do this. It's a new trick. I mean, a trick that I learned. You don't have to worry about that. changing the your mat if you have. You put all the colors on one mat, okay? All the vinyl on one mat. Right there. And put this right here. Turn it. Especially if you have small projects like this, it's easy to do it like this, okay? But if you have big projects, you know, more than you know, five inches, then it's not a good way to do this. A good idea to do it this way. But if you got little small pieces that you gotta cut like this and you don't want to change the mat that many times, just go ahead and do it this. Just make sure you have your your um your items, your images where you want the color, where you can put the color at on the mat, okay? The vinyl at on the mat. Okay? You see how this is? You showing you the 12 by 12 mat. And I have this over here on this corner. I have this one on this corner. And I can put the colors on, on my mat. So I'm gonna show you right. I'm gonna show you real quick how I'm gonna do this. Okay, y'all. I have all of my um vinyl here. See how I measured it? I could have cut this smaller, but I just always do it bigger just so I can make sure I have enough vinyl. But see how that word is only that and that's those two boxes, three boxes right there. I could have did the vinyl the same way, but I just do it bigger just because. Okay, so the same way for that box. See how it was on that mat just like that one is? And then for the last two at the bottom, it's just like that. So make sure you have enough vinyl to um to um cut for the, the size of the image on your screen, okay? Okay, so let me go ahead and push continue. We don't have to mirror this because we're not putting heat on it. So just push continue. So now that you see it's on vinyl, and I'm going to go ahead and load it into the machine. And see, it's just, it goes just like this. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look after I um, print it out, okay? I'm going to show you how it's going to look after I cut it. With the easy step, so you don't have to worry about changing the mats four times for four different colored vinyls. You can just cut it to the um, shape and size that you need it so that um, image can fit on it with no problem. And it look all cut at one time on one mat. Okay, so I'm going to cut it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and weave this out right now and put them on the glasses because I'm gonna, I just went on here and shut down quick, quick design space and I'm gonna go open up silhouette. So y'all, for y'all that do not have silhouette, y'all can print those out on Word. And you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put print, print out on Word instead of using um silhouette. Um, I just, I'm so used to using silhouette when I'm printing out bigger things, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on um Microsoft Word so I can show y'all how to, do images on Microsoft Word, okay? Microsoft Word does cost, and you can also do it on Silhouette, and Silhouette is free. Um, so it just depends on what you want to use, what you want to use to do your um to, to print it out because you print it out on on cardstock and you print it out on the sticker paper, okay? So it's up to you. Maybe I can try to do both. Show y'all both ways because people use Microsoft, people use Silhouette. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all both ways, okay? So I was going to do a video anyway on how to um, print big in Microsoft Word. So I might just show y'all, do both on this tutorial. Hope y'all don't mind. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'm going to go ahead and weave these scissors and cut what I don't need and save what I, the rest for the leftovers. Put my scrap, I have a whole lot of scraps y'all. And I use I save my scraps in little in my little I got a little drawer I put all my scrap colors in, okay, my scrap vinyl. Sorry, these little pieces right here I don't really say those I throw that away. Put this out. I'm sorry if you hear my son in the background. You know it's it's winter break so he's home. Him his brother in there playing the game. So he's right here in the background. Okay, put this out and I'm gonna save the excess. For a different project, I always come in handy. Sometimes we might need that extra little pieces of vinyl. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and weave this out for y'all. Even though I already have videos on how to weave, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all because I have a new a lot of beginners that's new to cricket on my um Facebook group. If you don't know about my Facebook group, it's called Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. Please come and join us. All I ask you to do is answer all the questions before you join to be approved. You can do this any kind of way. You can make these words thick. You can make them um, 
Again, like I'm doing them, you can do them however you want to do them. But I just like to, I'm going to just do it like this with the, um, this outline. Okay. But you can have the thick font if you want it. That's how you want it. This is how I'm going to do it today. Ooh, so all of them is the same size, just different colors, of course. Okay. So you see me weed this out. So I'm going to go ahead and weed the other two out. The other three. I'm going to do one more so you can see it. Okay, so I know people want to have questions about weeding. It's kind of big, y'all. It's going to work, though. I could have made it a little smaller than that. It's kind of big for this glass, but oh, well. Next time I know I'll make it a little bit smaller. I made this two by two. So let's go ahead and weed this one. The other two I'm going to do by myself. And I'm going to bring come back to you after I finish weeding because I don't want this wig to be too long, okay? And if you want if, if you want to see more weeding videos, go to my channel. I have more videos, tutorials to show you how to weed different things, okay? But since I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to use the silhouette. Silhouette is a free, you can get a silhouette for free if people got the cameos. Because people have been asking me to do more videos on, cam, on um, silhouettes. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that. And like I said, Microsoft Word, you do have to pay for it, okay? A lot of people do use Word to print bigger. So, now, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing that too. Start um, instead of making two different videos, um, different. Uh oh, camera slide. <laughs> instead of making two different videos on different tutorials, I'm just go ahead and do them both silhouette and um, cricket on the same video. If it's not, if the video don't take that long, if it don't, it's not that long. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish weeding these two out, and I'll be back. Okay, I have them all weeded out, as you can see, right here, all four of them. And I did, I used black instead of green, green, because I don't have any green um, vinyl. I don't use green vinyl for nothing, so I'm not going to go buy a whole thing of green vinyl if I don't use it. So I just chose to use black for the other color, for the green, okay? So let me go ahead and spray my, um... Go ahead and spray my glasses and clean them real good so it can be easier for it to be stick the vinyl on them. Okay. So clean them off real good. With alcohol. Okay. Did I spray this one? I didn't. Okay. You can use as many glasses as you want. I was going to do one with six of them because I'm going to a New Year's Eve party. I was going to just take it with me, but I think I'm going to do four for right now. Then I'll probably make some with four or six. You can do however you want to do it, whatever floats your boat. Okay. Okay. So now that I have that, I already have my contact paper cut out already. I got, I mean, it just basically comes on a plastic, like, come paper back like this. And I just took it off. And I'm going to just keep on using this. For the, for the um over and over for all four of them lay it down so it won't get no bubbles okay get my little scraper quick scraper scrape 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 to okay and let's see if it's ready there we go okay, so let's go ahead and center our glass how we want it just lay it in my hand and it might be better for me to cut this since it's the way the um glass is made. It might be easier for you to cut slits in this vinyl so it won't be any bubbles. So I'm just just make awkward cuts, it don't matter how you do it. But just you want to reuse this again for the other one, so just try to save it. But if you don't if it don't work, you can use some more vinyl. I'm gonna put it about right here. Don't get it too close to the lips because I put the lips on there. And I'm just gonna hit it smooth it down. That's a nice size. I got a bubble dog on it. Freaking Fuji's. Dog on it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one at a time because I've got a little bubble. It's the way this cup is made. I'm trying to rub this close right here and then lift it up and then try to get that that um end on there. Do the U first, okay? Just rub it because see the guys are the lump, lump right there. I'm just going to go ahead and do the U first and then do the N after I get the U on there. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, pull that off and then I can go ahead and straighten it up a little bit so that end won't be a lump in the end. There. Okay, there it is. It came out good. Now I'm going to do the O all the way. I'm lifting this paper up so I can do the O. And there we have it, our first glass. Nice, huh? Let's see, can y'all see that? Okay. Do the red one. Get that contact paper back on here. Do the same thing we did for the other, for the first one. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe and click that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. I do tutorials like twice a week. Maybe three times depends on what mood I'm in. I do all kinds of tutorials. Sublimation, crickets, um, silhouettes, you know, paper crafts, journals, fine uh, calendars. I do all kinds of things. So check me out, y'all. Sublimate on umbrellas and everything. I just love craft crafting. Okay, so check my other videos out. I'm trying to put it the same way I have the other one. Let's do one letter at a time, okay? So we don't have to worry about anything. So we can go ahead and do that U first. Bring it on down. Warm it up a little bit. Let's we'll see how the end is going to fall. Okay, the end. Cool. Okay, so let's go see if the U is ready. Yes, it is. Oh, shoot. No, it's not. <laughs> Do a, Warm it up a little bit more with your finger. Okay. Let's bring it back. Okay. It's, it's better to come from the up. I don't know what I'm thinking. Now we can go ahead and do the end. It's easier to come from the bottom to the top. Okay, and pull it from the bottom to the top. I haven't been, I haven't did no vinyl in a while, y'all. I'm so used to, I'm so in love with the sublimation. I'm forgetting how to do my vinyl because I haven't did vinyl in a long, in a while, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the O. You do one letter at a time. Because just because I'm doing one letter because of the way this, this glass is shaped and you don't want no bubbles. But if you had a flat surface, you can do them all at once, okay? Since it's, you know, it's, it's bending the paper and it can cause bubbles, you can do one letter at a time. Look at that. Nice. See that? The light. Okay, so I got those two done. I'm do the next one. I'm using the same contact paper, y'all. On all the different um, so I said make it a little bit bigger than your image so you can have you can use it for all three instead of cutting, cutting, cutting. So okay, see how easy it came up. Let's do the same thing for this one. Place it where I want it, not too far, close to the lips. I'm gonna do the U first. And if the other ones stand up off the glass and just warm it up. Okay, now the end probably is okay. Let me go ahead and bring the U up. Make sure you guys, like I said, it's easier to come from. It's not ready yet. This contact paper works, a, um, it's, it works. Um, it works really good, so you can do it more than once. You don't have to just do it once and throw it away. See, save you time, even though it's only a dollar from the Dollar Tree. But it just saves you time with cutting and all that kind of stuff. Saves a little bit of money. Okay, so now I'm going to do the O. Okay, give it a little warmth, the warmth, the heat, what helps it sticks. Just bring it on up, and there you go. We got one more to go, you guys, and we'll be done with this. And I'm going to go ahead and go to um, Microsoft Word and show you how to print those cards and stickers out. Just, you know, the, um... Voila, I'm going to go ahead and throw this away because I'm done with this. I don't have any more vinyl to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the glasses together. So, We have our Uno. 
shot glasses, y'all. Look at that. Okay. Okay, y'all. I got my Microsoft Word already open. And what I need to do is go ahead and go to Insert and go to Picture and Pictures from File. And I have a lot of files, y'all. So it's going to take probably a while for me to find this. Okay. I'm going to go to my file. Go to my Uno file. Go to my Uno file right here. So I think I told y'all earlier in the video, basically all this, this, all these files come with the, um, when you purchase this from the website, I'm going to leave below Megan customs. I believe I'm going to leave a link below and she give you all these files. Okay. Use the PNG and go ahead and push insert. Okay. And here's all the rules. And now what you need to do is right click on it. And then you go to write wrap text in front of that, right? Wrap text in front of text. So we go right here, wrap text in front of text. Just, just so you can be able to move the um move it around. Before you couldn't move it around. Okay. So now you can move it around and now you can go ahead and um size it. So I want this to be the size of my container, which I'm gonna be showing you in a minute. It's eight by sixteen. So I'm gonna go up here and just put the height to be eight. Then I want the um the width to be six. No, I might do eight by no. I think I need to do six. Okay, so now I was gonna make it six by six. So now what I'm gonna do is, ready to print this out on my printer. I'm gonna go to print, and I don't have to. Oh, I do have to. Um, no, I don't. So now I'm printing this on regular paper. I'm putting this on cardstock paper. I don't have to worry about mirroring this. Okay. So I'm just gonna go make sure all of my settings are good. I'm going to go to my seventy-seven. 10 printer and I'm going to be take this let me see copy some pages I'm gonna go to layout or media media quality I'm gonna go to best quality and I'm going to go to let me see high quality plain paper okay and I have to do I have to do this every time people some people say they don't have to do this every time I have to do this every time to make sure my settings are correct okay so I'm going to go ahead and go to print. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the paper in there. I'm using the cardstock paper so it could be thick paper. I'm just using regular um, white cardstock paper. So I'm going to go ahead and print that out and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I changed the size. The other size I did was too small. It's like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I'm tired. But yeah, I changed the size. And I made it, as you can see up here at the top, I made it 8.27 by 7.55, okay? So it's up to you how you want to do it. Depends on, and it also up to you, it depends on how um, big your box is, okay? And I'm going to show you my box and everything after I get finished with everything. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm done with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the sticker that I'm going to be using. Okay, what I need to do again, I need to go ahead and um, right-click it. Wrap text to, to front. So I can be able to move it around and I can move it around now. Okay. Now I'm going to make this bigger also. Size the way you want it. What size is this? Now this is the 8 by 8. Bring it in a little bit. 7. Let's see if that will make it. And then that's 7. I'm going to bring this up some. Okay, I'm gonna put in this one right here. Basically, the height is 6.9.2 and then 7.91. Like I said, just measure your box and then you can go from there. I'm gonna put the sticker paper in there that I'm gonna be using. I got this sticker paper from Cricut. I think it's Cricut. Um, no, it's the Paper Studio. And I'll link everything below, okay? Oh, I did say I was gonna show you how to do it on Silhouette real quick. Let me show you how to do it on Silhouette real quick. If you don't have Word, because Word Perfect does cost. I'm going to show you how to do it on Silhouette real quick. I'm not going to print it out on Silhouette. I'm just going to show you how to import all the um, images you need for this. Okay. Ooh. Silhouette. And I'm going to go ahead and go to File. You can see that. And then I go to Merge. Oh, good. So it's already, well, it don't matter because I got to start over again anyway. Go back to Uno. I'm just showing you how to do it on Silhouette. If y'all don't have Microsoft Word, which is Microsoft Word you have to pay for. And um, Silhouette is you can download this version for free. 
And as long as you have this for free, you don't have to, you don't have, to have a cricket or cameo. You're just basically printing from this, okay? But if you want the cameo, you can get your, you can get your cameo. I have a cameo. I have a silhouette. I have a cameo and I have a, um, a, um, a cricket explorer too, okay? But before I bought my cameo, I had this version for free. And now I have the business version and I love the business version with silhouette. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do the PNG. This is, this is so easy to do, but I'm going to show y'all since people are still learning and they want me to do more videos of silhouette. Okay, so basically you just take your, your item, sorry, click on it and move it, and then you size it the way you want to size it, okay? Take it and just pull it. Pull it. I don't know where that thing is. Anywhere. I don't know where that thing right there. I said, I told you I'm still working on how to use this silhouette. And it tells you the size right here. So right now it's 10 by 10. It tells you right here also what size it is, okay? So if you whatever size you want, you just stretch it out how you want it. Okay? Then you print this. I'm going to show you how to do print the other, how you're going to print it. But you can, you can move this to the side. As long as it's not in the white page, you don't have to, it's not going to print, okay? But it's on this white page, it will print out. So let me just move this over so I can get the other one. File, merge. And I'm going to go to, um, with the PNG. And I'm going to go ahead and take this over. Why is it doing this? Okay. Bring it over. Size it the way I want it. And so whatever size you want to make it, you keep it on this white page. Right now, this is 11 by 11, but I know that's what, I don't want that big. So you just bring it on up this way. Use this to make it bigger or smaller. Or either go up here and print it out, and, you know, write it in right here, okay? Right there, okay? I'm sorry, right here. <laughs> okay, so now let me show you how to print this out. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and print this out because I'm going to make more anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out for y'all so you can see how it looks. So let me just make sure I got the right size I need. I need an 8 by 8 Please, I'm going to go to the paper so, so I can know what size this paper is so I can know how big the image is. So I just go over here and go to 8 and Point five, and I go by eleven. Eight point five by eleven. It's the paper. Okay, that's how the paper gonna be. So make sure I can fit on my paper. So that's cool. So now I'm going ahead and print this out. The measurement says it's seven point seven by eight point two. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to print out a silhouette. You go to file. You go to print. I'm sorry. Go to File, Print, Page Setup. Then I, this is, the regular paper is 8.5 by 11, which I have. Any printer, I'm going to my 7720. Okay. Then I'm going back to Print. In the same way I did before with Microsoft Word, I go to um, Medium Quality. Media Quality, I go ahead and put Best. Media type, I put high quality plain paper. Then I'm gonna push print after I put my card stock paper in here, okay? Okay. Oh, it's two different rules. Okay, let me show y'all this, cause she got two different rules on here, y'all. I printed out two different ones, they different. So this one right here, it says the one shot start the game, and then it says draw two, one shot, draw four, two shots. The second one I printed out is totally different. It's still drunk Uno. Official rules. Everyone takes one shot to start the game. That's the same. So she just printed it out. Oh, it's a little bit. Two, four. It's the same. It's the same. It just it just looked different. Okay. She just, it just printed. She got two different types. So that's cool to know. Okay. Two different um ways she designed the rules, but they're the same rules, okay? Okay, I'm got Okay, I'm back, y'all. I got everything cut out. Um, you can. I didn't use the cut and print features as far as letting my Cricut cut it out or my silhouette cut it out because, for one thing, it would not work. This did not work on silhouette because I mean on Cricut because it was too many layers. So this would not work on Cricut. So, but if it did, I would have cut it with Cricut. But I use my scissors, okay. And silhouette, I'm like I said before, I'm not too. I'm still learning silhouette. Even though I've done a print and cut before with silhouette, I haven't done it with all these layers. And I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm still learning how to use silhouette. So yes, I did use silhouette. Now let me go ahead and show you what I had. The card, this is the card. It'll fit inside the box. You can make the card bigger. So this is the size I chose. But you can make it a little bigger to fit in the box. Okay. And I'm going to laminate this. I have a laminate machine. But I'm going to go through all this on this video. I'm going to laminate it with my machine later. 
And this is the sticker paper. The sticker paper that I got from, like I said, this is the Paper Studio version paper. <laughs> sticker paper, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and take this off now and put it on my container. The only thing I hate about this is so hard to find the um how to peel this off. And Avery has some good sticker paper when it, it oh, this came right off. Avery has some good paper, but it basically gives you a crease in the middle of it to, show, to help you with the, um, to peel it off much easier than this. But this didn't give me too much trouble this time, okay? And there we have it. I bought this, um, I'm say I bought this confetti or this, um, shredding paper from the Dollar Tree. I bought this container from the Dollar Tree, okay? Most everything came from Dollar Tree except for the paper that I used. I pour this in here. I don't need all this, but I'm just putting it in here for right now. Just hmm, maybe I can use all of it. I'll put that in here like this. Put two glasses on the side. Put two glasses on the side, and then I'm gonna get the Uno cards and put them right in the middle. I have the cards here. I got these cards from Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. They were way too much money, but I had to get them because I'm gonna get this video out the way. But I wouldn't advise you to go to the dollar store because there was like six dollars for the dollar store. But I've been looking. The Walmart didn't have any more. Michaels didn't have any more either. So um, yeah, I paid six dollars for these just for this video, y'all. See how much I love y'all. Nah, no. <laughs> just gonna get it out the way. And I'm behind on my videos. I've been out of town. Okay. So then we have our drunk Uno game. Like I said, the you can put the um, you put the if you want to, you can put the, no, you put them right here, or you can just put them, lay, on, lay them on top. So like I said, I'm gonna laminate it, lay it on top. And there we have it. We have our Uno game, y'all. All done. I don't like the way, I think I'm gonna turn this back this way. have it it don't matter how you do it but this would be a good thing to sell around the holidays christmas graduations like i said just make sure they're legal they're legal they're legal they could be able to drink <laughs> and don't drink and drive y'all thanks for watching please visit my website www.charminggalboutique.com i have sublimation blanks there wholesale price and i also have items that I sell. If you want to design your, if you want, if you do not want to design your own items, check out my website and I design them for you. Also check out my group, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you another time. Oh, let me show you real quick. This is how they look from Dollar Tree. The, the um, they call dessert glasses. Okay, I got these from Dollar Tree. Get three for a dollar. All right. Until next time, have a blessed one.